Hi, and welcome to Bella Barista. My name is Martin Richards. I'm an AST, an authorised trainer for the Specialist Coffee Association. I'm also the technical manager here at Bella Barista. And today's technical video is going to be, in the first instance, all about the Lit Bianca paddle flow control. Flow control and the tips and hints that I'm going to give you in this video equally apply to the ECM and the Profitec flow control videos. So, without further ado, let's have a look at this paddle. So, what's the purpose of the paddle? First and foremost, it's not a pressure profiling device. This paddle does not alter pressure. What it does is reduces or increases flow rate through the E61 group head and over your coffee puck. And that will also give you a reduced pressure reading on the E61 manometer because it takes longer with a reduced flow rate of water for pressure to build in the group head. Now, the first bit of information I'm going to give you about this is every machine we sell at Bella Barista is pre-delivery inspected, which means it comes out of the box from the manufacturer, goes up into our workshop, and a team of highly skilled, highly trained technicians will run that machine up and test all the key features of the machine. We don't use your accessories in the box because we like to keep those pristine, ready for you, but it does mean sometimes you will get a machine with signs of water because it's impossible for us to completely drain down the machine. But it also means that we're happy the machine has been calibrated, the pump, the heaters, everything is running exactly as it should do. Now, with regards to the paddle and flow control device, it comes factory fitted from the lit on the Bianca models. One of the things we have noticed is that some people like to play with this device and a little later on I'm going to show you the results of adjusting this when you adjust it incorrectly and the severe damage that can be caused. So essentially when this is correctly set in this position with the machine paddle rotated in a clockwise direction should result in the paddle striking the machine front face and the water flow will not completely be stopped because to completely stop it, we have to jam the needle jet so tightly into the jet hole that we can cause mechanical breakage. So to avoid that, during our pre-delivery inspection of a Bianca or an ECM or a Profitec machine with flow control on it, we ensure that in this position, there is still a tiny air gap clearance between the needle and the valve body, which will result in a small amount of liquid still coming through the group head. And this is the correct setting for a flow control paddle. If you attempt to adjust it and shut off the water completely, which is completely pointless, then you also run the risk of severely damaging the needle or in fact the jet inside the E61 group none of which is covered by any warranty from us or the manufacturer. So it can lead to quite a costly repair bill. My best advice is leave it as set by us. It's doing the job it's supposed to do and you won't suffer any problems with it.